Hi, welcome Premier Guns, my name's Adrian. Uh, just a quick video to follow up on the last video we did. But this is probably a little bit more in depth, just explaining that we're obviously doing air arms and FX. So I thought I might explain a bit more of the FX models, because uh, they are massively confusing to be fair. Uh, and I thought we'd give a quick overview, start a model right up to the top of the range of what we're doing. So give, give you a basic idea on the FX range. Say so starting out with the Dreamline. Uh, Dreamline is a very modular gun, so it can be built up in the configuration that you want. Spec goes right up to uh, the M3. Um, or Panthera is the other one, which is on the line with the M3. But we'll go through those now in a moment. But just want to quickly explain, this is where they start. This is the starter model within the FX range. Uh, I say it's only been out a few years, but the idea that it's an incredibly modular gun, that we can have it as a straightforward sporter gun. We can use the same gun uh, and just literally change the stock. Uh, this is your GRS stock, so Norwegian made. GRS more known for the full bore target shooting and uh, hunting scopes, but in the uh, hunting stock, should I say, but in the laminate material, uh, various colours. This one's in the forest green. With the Dreamline, I say, it's incredibly modular. It'll also, uh, we can do bullpups of the Dreamline as well, so essentially the very same action, but the action's set back into the stock. Uh, and I've got uh, some of these just down here. Effectively, uh, you've got the same action on there. Um, we're a carbon bottle on this one rather than the cylinder, uh, and it's a bullpup configuration as well. Um, but you can say start out with the basic model, and after a while, work your way up to the bullpup should you wish to. So, moving on from the, the Dreamline, uh, we step into the Maverick. These models going up for the Dreamline are probably less modular than the, uh, uh, the Dreamline is. Uh, I, I, you can try less things with them. But plenty of accessories and funnel things you can have with the uh, Picatinny rails, add-ons. You can get uh, various other accessories which we're gonna be stocking quite shortly, Donny FL um, and the likes. These guns now start to get probably a bit more serious and obviously the price goes up accordingly in the sense that they'll have dual regulators. Uh, Regulators are quite common ground in a lot of air rifles now. Uh, idea is to take some of the pressure that's coming off this bottle at uh, 250 bar uh, and reducing that down before it hits the valve. Now, obviously, two is higher than one, so obviously it's better. Um, so we've got two regulators in here. First one, take off that big, large power, 250 bar, uh, and have it more controllable. So typically down to about 100, 100 to 125 bar level before it hits the, the secondary regulator on here. These guns are very similar to the Dreamline. Uh, magazines, 13 shots up to 22 shots. Uh, a bit more play and adjustability with the, uh, the stock there as well, so the butt pad. Um, these will come, like a lot of the FX models, various configurations as far as length. That's really what they're basing it on. So this is the ball put model with a smaller bottle. We've got the larger bottle then, which is slightly larger, uh, longer barrels. So we'll go from a 300cc to a 480cc. Uh, they also do this in the, in the uh, Sniper, which is your FAC power one, which is the longer barrel and a 580cc bottle. Um, so that's kind of looking at your higher power guns. But these are quite a nice option if you like the looks of an M3, but don't necessarily need the full on um, race carness of the M3, I suppose, a little way, but still have the looks and slightly down in price a little bit, but still having those features you sort of uh, know and love of an FX. And I say, very close to the uh, Maverick is the Wildcat. Now, this is the new Wild Wildcat model. Wildcat's been out for quite some time, um, but it was always the cylinder. FX have listened to the shooters out there and uh, the, use an option of having a little bottle, a buddy bottle in there. This one happens to be carbon fiber. They do come with a steel bottle, but with like, we find a lot of FX uh, in this country, certainly, uh, if you go into the expense and want your gun like that, you'll typically want to have a carbon fiber bottle. So we don't stock the, the aluminium bottles, but if that's your choice, we can certainly get those, it's not a problem at all. A little bit heavier, uh, a little bit cheaper, also colder in the hand, hence why people like the carbon, like the carbon look as well. But your Wildcat, again, full bullpup, again, same features as all the FX models. We can play around with the, uh, the calibers, change the barrels around. Uh, 
We have Piccadilly rail up here, uh, 20 MOA Piccadilly rail. So we start to look at a gun pitch for longer range shooting potentially. So again, moving on from the Wildcat and the Maverick, which some people might see a little bit sort of a lukewarm FX in some ways, because it's always been known for the M1, M2 and M3s. Well, this is the M3. Uh, so I suppose this is well regarded as the daddy um, of the FX range. This particular one is in the compact. Uh, We've got it's the compact, we've got the standard length. So we've got a 300cc bottle to 480cc bottle. Uh, we've also got the configuration in the Sniper, which is the FAC variant, which we'll uh, come on to a bit more in detail. But I say this is probably what's started FX rifles. As everyone, everyone know, FX is a Swedish manufacturer. Um, they are probably the first manufacturer to really go into this style of, I suppose, Formula One, for want of a better description, work of, 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 of an air rifle, in that there is plenty to play with, plenty to adjust. Um, also, this is rifle, the M3 model, uh, with macro and micro adjustments uh, in the main block, there for yourself, uh, with dual regulators in here. Uh, you, you pick us in your rails, 20 MOA, the top, you've got side accessory rails. You've, these guns come with even larger magazine capacity. So stepping up from the rest of the models, which are that size magazine, uh, again, up to 13 to 22 shots, depending on the caliber. These, the difference is huge. Um, so we're looking anywhere between 18 up to 33 shots, I believe, again, depending on caliber. So 177s at 33 shots. Great, wonderful. Um, I suppose downside to it is we have to reload it. Um, you have 33 pellets to have to reload. So back onto the, the sniper variant of the M3. Again, this is solely um, a FAC. So FAC being anything over 12 foot pounds, as most of you all know. Differences are essentially the same gun as the sub 12 foot pounds, but this is where you can actually adjust, have more play adjustability because we're not confined by the 12 foot rule. Um, so we can adjust these guns even more. As part of that, um, FX has developed what they call a power plenum. So again, this is another stage to control the air. So it's all about controlling and efficiency of air. With an FX M3, design the uh, valving and the block, these can be pumping out any, with up to 156 pounds of energy on a 35 cal. Um, so if you're looking for two two rimfire, sort of powers, um, it's a th FX M3 FAC 30-35 cal. So sitting alongside the M3 I suppose is the Panthera, so this is the all new model, this one's the 500, so sub 12 foot pounds, um, 500 because it's a 500 mil barrel, they're doing a 600 and a 700 mil, again typically all FAC. These guns are designed uh, from the ground up with a very different block system in here. Uh, essentially management of the air, again, to make the, the gun more efficient. The gun itself, style of the gun, very much designed for practical PRS style shooting. Uh, so it's, again, initially probably more of a target gun than anything else. Um, having said that, FX with modularity has gone down the lines of now offering a Hunter version um, where you can actually relocate the rear bottle to the front. You take off the heavier Arca rail on here uh, and you replace it with a bottle, making the gun a little bit lighter. Uh, there is a capacity also to have two bottles, so we can have the smaller 300cc bottle at the front and again, your front bottle could be as large as you like, 300. 480, 580, um, again for max, maximum shot capacity. With this, the Panthera, um, again designed very much as a target gun. So we've both got the regulator gauge and the pressure gauges in front of you. So you can see them rather than being on the unders underside. Um, but essentially it's a whole new gun for FX. Um, we can get you the AC, 600, 700 CC, but for most shooters in this country, it's gonna be sub, 12 foot pounds, um, but I'm quite keen to get one of these myself and put two bottles on there and have a go on the Hunter Field Target's uh, range. So similar to the M3, uh, this is a real powerhouse of an FX 
it goes about a different way. Um, so different valving system on here, but essentially a high power version, long range shooter, capable of well over 100 foot pounds. Having said that, we have a lot of people using them at the sub 12 foot pounds and quite happy. Um, they're a lightweight gun, even in the laminate shape form. But we've got anything from the basic synthetic, so exact same gun, but a synthetic stock without the adjustments on that. A little bit like the uh, Dreamline, they also come in the GRS stock. This one is the Arctic Wolf. Uh, again, the GRS stock. Um, for those looking for something a bit more traditional, just grab around here. They'll also come in the Walnut stock. This again is the FX style stock rather than the GRS. Full GRS uh, laminate stock on here. Again, same profile as the uh, Arctic Wolf, but this is in the, the, uh, the green camo version. But these are all available. There is also, which are waiting to arrive, is also the Bumblebee. So it's actually a yellow stocked version of this gun. Uh, just waiting for that to arrive from the sportsman. Since starting off with the air rifles, we've been asked to stock a number of brands, or why aren't we stocking other brands? There are brands quite local to us, which we're not supplying. Uh, for us though, it's about having, concentrating on a couple of core brands, which are going to be Air Arms FX. Interverse with that, we'll have uh, Virarc and pretend probably AGT, I'd have thought, um, but we're going in full with FX and the Air Arms. Um, why FX? FX, I guess, are probably the, the originators of these style of guns. Uh, also, the backup and support that we receive from sportsmen, which to us is a big part of our sales process. There's no good having the very latest gun, um, but not having the backup support from the manufacturer should things go wrong. And that's important to us. Um, we don't want to be spending the whole time on the phone chasing problems with guns that have been returned. We want th any issues that do arise, we want them dealt with really quickly. So that's where sports will come in. Um, so they'll turn around guns for us very quickly, uh, keep us happy, easy work for us, and obviously get the customer is happy at the end of the day. So that gives you a very brief overview of the range. It wasn't to go into any detailed reviews. There's plenty of people out there doing reviews that are much better than me and uh, are more knowledgeable than I am. Um, but I want to give you a very brief overview to people that are new to the brand, new to Premier Guns Air Rifles, uh, just to show you that what we're stocking, an explanation of FX, it is quite a complicated brand. So just a, a very brief overview for all things. So if you have any questions, queries, or is there any FX guns you particularly want to see, uh, to shoot, they give us a call here at Premier Guns. Uh, we'll happily look into that for you. Any questions, queries you've got, then please give us a call. Before I go though, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, if the video, you'd like the video, give us a quick like. Uh, it always helps with the algorithms. Thanks very much, thank you.